In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the draw.io website to create database model diagrams. When we start, we have to indicate where we want to save the diagrams. I'm going to choose device so that we download them to our local computer. Then I'm going to pick create new diagram and I'm going to give it the name building model. I'm going to create a model of a building with rooms in it and just pick blank diagram and click create. To get started, I'm going to click on this general um, section to collapse it and open up Entity Relation, which has the shapes for database modeling. And I'm going to drag uh, this first symbol onto the diagram. It showed up with rounded uh, corners. I'm going to talk about that more later, so I'm going to turn that back. And we're going to begin by changing the name of the table by double clicking here. And I'm going to call it a building. And this other one we're going to call room. The primary key of building, I'm double clicking again, is going to be building ID. And I'm going to make it uh, boldface and underline to indicate it's the primary key. I'm going to double click on this second attribute and call it um, building name. And if we had more attributes, we could uh, right click this uh, third row and choose duplicate or press control D a few times. That's how you can get more in there. Uh, I'm going to shift select and delete all of these by pressing the delete key. And then over here on room, we're going to have a room number, and I'm going to make that boldface and underlined. And uh, we're going to have a description, so I'm double clicking and typing description, and then double clicking and typing, um, let's have a room capacity. So now we have our two tables. Let's add a relationship line. So I'm clicking and dragging one of these relationship lines, and it doesn't matter which, as you're going to see. They have different line endings on them, but you can easily switch the line endings by coming over here to the Style tab and playing with the ends. So, for example, I'd like the left side to be a one and only one. You can see how that alters the left-hand side, and I could have altered the right-hand side as well. And I'm going to bump up the sizes on these line endings. And you see that now the, the, um, the cardinality indicators are a little bit larger. To connect them up, I click and drag the blue dot up to, you can either connect it to a specific connection point, one of these green circles, or you can connect it to the overall entity. If you connect it to the overall table, then as you drag and move the entities around, um, the uh, connection point can shift and it can move where the relationship line is connected. And if you connect it to a certain connection point, then it will always be connected to that connection point. Let's add a verb here. I'm going to click on this relationship line and start typing. A building contains a room. That's how you add a verb with a relationship line. And I'm going to make room a weak entity by checking the rounded box, just to indicate visually that uh, it depends on building for part of its primary key. So that's how you create a basic uh, entity relationship diagram. Uh, one trick I've found uh, is that sometimes, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to this other diagram, the line endings become um, messed up a little bit. You see how this one is on its side. And one way I've found to fix that is to come over to this waypoints drop down and pick this second one here, orthogonal. That often tends to clean up the line a little bit and make the endings a little bit clearer. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how you can go ahead and export, or I need to show you how to save first. So, unsave changes, click here to save. When you click that, then notice it downloads to your local downloads folder a copy of the diagram. 
building model one XML. And that is something that you could come and load back in by choosing open from um, device. That would pop up a little file chooser and you could open up that same model again and that would load it back in. To export it, we have several options. For example, if you want to export an image, you could choose the PNG option, choose export, and again, you can pick a destination. There's the file name. We could pick the destination of just download, and that will cause it to download an image to our local computer, where then you can open it up and look at it in an image browser. So that concludes this very brief demonstration on using Draw.io to create database diagrams.